Hi, this is Laura with Papori of Life. Today, as I was making, I already made one batch, but I make um, this garden hand scrub that I use out in the garden. Well, I don't use it in the garden. I use it when I come into the house. And it's just fabulous. And I thought, you know, as I was using it to make sure it was the consistency I wanted and so forth, I just thought, oh, I need to share this. And what it is, it's um, it's a mixture of a few ingredients, just a few, some you'll have on hand, some people will always have on hand, I don't know. But what it has done is it helps, because I go out in the garden and I have a tendency not to wear my gloves like I should, um, but because our hands get so dirty in that ground and we don't know what's in the ground, and um, so I'm always working with various mediums out in the garden making my own using my compost, using different things to make a real healthy soil out there. So when I'm out there filling them in for the pots and all that kind of stuff, you know, my hands come in dirty, but also my feet come in filthy because I only work barefoot out there. Once in a while I wear my Crocs, but generally speaking, they're, I'm out there um, barefoot. And um, my husband says, you out there grounding again? I just like being out in nature barefoot and that's that's just the way I am and he's getting used to it he doesn't like it because it cuts up my feet but this here or what I use it actually softens my feet and my feet don't look so cut up so actually they're pretty soft so I'm gonna show you how I make it I already made a batch um, and what I do is I don't want to put it in glass jars in mo for us because in my bathroom it's small we have a porcelain sink, which is small, and these these won't even fit on my sink. This will fit out here in the kitchen sink, but it it's just too big. But I could put this on the edge of the tub so that when I'm scrubbing my feet, I it's right there with me. You can also do it if you've got a bowl and you're soaking your feet in some water afterwards just to kind of relax them. There is no Epsom salt in this. So when I say soaking your feet, know that there's no Epsom salts in this. But you're going to find out what there is. So I repurposed these um, plastic containers. I don't even remember what it's from. But when I get a nice thick plastic container, I will save it for these homemade um, products that I make. So I filled one and a half containers and I said, ah, I can make another batch and see where we go. So the first ingredient I put in, and please know that I have adapted this from other things that I have seen, heard, and read. This works for me. It might not work for you, but it works for me. So I put in a cup of sugar. The coarser, the better. So, but if all you got is the sugar that you get at the grocery store, use that. The next thing that I put in there is a tablespoon. Let's see. A tablespoon of sea salt. And the sea salt that I use is actually from the Jordan. My daughter went there to visit with my son-in-law. They had a fabulous time. The pictures were, uh, it was wonderful to see how much fun they were having. So this is the sea salt from the Dead Sea River in the Jordan. And um, I use it sparingly because this is about all she gave me. Can you imagine? That's all she gave me. But she actually came back and she gave each of her sisters, and I think she kept a little for herself. So that might have been a little bit over a tablespoon, but there are some things I don't measure exact because it'll still do the purpose I need it to. Now, the next thing, I'll tell you, the Dead Sea Salt is awesome. Oh, you don't have to use the Dead Sea Salt. You can actually order it, I think. Um, I haven't looked into it yet because I'm very conservative in this. I use these for cosmetic beauty type products such as these hand wash and stuff and um, we use it sparingly we don't just consume it in a horrible way so the next ingredient that I'm gonna put in here is a quarter cup of coconut oil you want it softened this time of year I don't have to put it on the stove to soften um, how I soften it in the winter time is if I'm cooking something like if I'm baking you know cookies or whatever I'll put the jar on there so it softens a little bit but not to where 
it is runny. So right now I love this season because I don't have to melt anything and I don't have to put the coconut oil in the refrigerator to solidify. So this is a quarter cup of coconut oil. Now remember anything you anybody can adapt a recipe to meet their needs. Um, I don't know what you would use for a substitute in any of these products because I like these products. <laughs> you know, or these items. I like the results that I'm getting. Put just a little bit more in here to top it off. So that's the coconut oil. And coconut oil is very healthy for those of you that don't like using it. Not sure what you would use. But you do you, and you, you kind of try to figure out what might work for you. But this is what works for me. So, all right, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, okay, I've got my salt, my sugar, and my coconut oil. So I'm going to mix this up a bit just to kind of like, um, just to blend it some. It's not totally mixed in yet. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some essential oils in. You need five to six drops of essential oils if you desire to have the extra essential oils. I'm putting lavender buds in, fresh lavender buds. Actually, there's some that I've dried and stuff, but they still, the smell is just, you know, it's breathtaking. When I open the jar, I'll just be kind of like high on lavender. But what I'm putting in here are essential oils. I get them from a good source. No, not from Walmart. I do not, with my essential oils, I am very particular. So I go to places that this is what they specialize in. And um, I wish I had the distillery, but you know what? I don't, and I'm okay with that. I really don't need to have another piece of equipment in our home right now. So I'm going to put in about three drops of lavender oil, essential oil. Remember, this is not going to be ingested. And I do not recommend it either. One, two, three. Oh, how about four for good measure? <laughs> yeah, I like lavender. Lavender is very calming and it's a very healing to your emotions and stuff. The next one I'm putting in for us, um, and I use this in massage oils for pain, because um, both of us, we work hard around here. He works hard at work and our backs hurt and I have some back issues but that's life and so we use this when our backs go out and we use frankincense in those ointments that we make we make like a massage oil I'm putting in about four drops one two three four That alone smells good. But the best part is let's get a quarter cup of lavender buds. And um, don't measure it down. Don't, don't do the knife thing at all. Because oh, if I could bring this over to the screen and have you smell it for smell-o-vision, this is fascinating. Now remember, fresh lavenders like this, you can make teas with and stuff like that. So you can consume lavender buds. You should not consume lavender essential oils. I could go into that at another time. So how this is going to look, because I've already got one made, it kind of like a nice little mixture of the lavender buds in there. It just because that's from the other batch I made just a minute ago. I, I make them in the same, um, the batch I just remake. I don't double my batches. So if I want a larger amount, that's what I do. And you just blend it in really nice. So just a, a recap in terms of what I use this for. I use it for my hands coming in from the garden. I use it in on my feet. When my feet are really sore, or coming in from the garden, I will do that again. I tend to take um, a bath when I come in and just kind of soak if I, my back is out. 
because I have a tendency to do more out there than I should. And I was so excited to, when I save these um, containers, it's nice because then I can repurpose something. I tend to throw stuff away that I can't reuse. But j containers like this, you know, it's like saving the earth a little bit. And I'm always on the lookout for this kind of stuff. I do need to maybe source some jars. Now, would I sell this on Etsy? There is a possibility that I would, but there has to be a call. I found that sometimes when I make things sewing, people want it, but they don't want to pay for it. Um, those of you who are in business might understand where I'm coming from. It's I don't have a problem with a person's... They would rather just go get it that it's already manufactured elsewhere and it's already made. Let's see if I can squeeze a little bit more in this one. And then I'll use an alternate container, a smaller one that I have. So basically, I mean, most people in medicine know how to properly wash their hands, most especially if you work in the OR. Um, I was a surgical tech and I was an LNA, so I have that in my ingrained in my brain how you should properly wash your hands. So I'm going to take a little bit. Over the last two years, people are telling you, wash your hands, wash your hands. Keep the germs off. Um, working in the dirt to me is very healthy, but that doesn't want, mean that I want to come in and cook and have my dirt in my food. That's, that's not appropriate. So we still need to use proper hand cleaning coming in from the garden or just in a everyday care. So what you would do is you take about, I don't know if that's a tablespoon or not. You don't even need water for this to start. You just need the water to kind of rinse it off and stuff. But you get in there. This might even take fish smell off if you've gone fishing. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. Or I actually like it because my hands hurt right now. And um, to rub it like this, it kind of mimics my hand. My husband's hands can sometimes be rough, but he massages my hands and my massage therapist does too, just to take that pain away. So to do this myself as I'm rubbing it in where the dirt would be, don't forget to rub your nails, get, you know, just like you would normally to wash your hands, get your nails with that soap, clean it up really good so that the dirt comes out of your nails. Um, and if you don't believe in how important cleaning your hands is, cleaning after you get out of the garden and you want that dirt out, this is one way to see it. So I've got them, um, you can go up your arm a little bit. Oh, you know, one thing I forgot is I did my first one is um, put a little bit of I'm going to actually put the drops in the container. My first batch I did this. Put a little vitamin E in this. Um, I need to put that on my card. I forgot that I needed to do that. So the vitamin E is in there. My first batch has the vitamin E and this one I forgot. You know, that's the human side of me. But I was saying something's missing and I knew it was that. So you get the vitamin E in there. This is just so amazing. Sorry, I just don't want to stop. All right, so you get that off from your arms on down. If you have rough elbows, some people have rough elbows. When I was a young girl, I had um, rough elbows. And um, this will help. I mean, for what it does for my feet, it will make your elbows feel fabulous. But... Um, but yeah, I, I haven't yet put the vitamin E on my card, so I need to put that on there because it does make a difference. So I'm going to just put a little bit more vitamin E into the containers because that's the, the final element that brings the moisture in and softens your hands. I mean, if you're one who likes soft ha hands that are not greasy, it kind of feels greasy because it's so soft. Now, one of the things that I'm going to be doing, I could potentially, sorry, I just love the way this feels. Um, 
I could potentially put some of this on Etsy. They won't be in big containers like this. This is something that I'm repurposing. I could certainly um, source some jars, some plastic jars, um, to, so that I could make this and put on Etsy. But like with my sewing, when I make um, different things uh, for Etsy or something like that, I don't like to make tons because if there's no call, I end up with too much. But I also make things for gifts, so there's some things that I don't have a problem having extras. But if this is something that you think um, you don't want to make, but you're interested in having me put it on the Etsy, shoot me an email so that I can um, actually get that on there for you. And um, But if this is something that you are inspired by or is something you're interested in, please click the like button, consider subscribing, write a comment, and, be, and if you can, share. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to spend this moment with me, and I hope that the rest of your day is a blessing. God bless.